There was a man called Dennis Sullivan. He was a captain uh, about 100 years ago. He captained several boats, and I think he has the uh, the record for the most trips in one season between here and Buffalo, New York. Something amazing, like 34 trips. His family has a shipping business, and they put in the most money for a huge chunk of money to get the boat built. They donated plenty and that awarded them naming rights. The boat was built by a group of people who got together and wanted to build a Great Lakes cargo schooner, and uh, they wanted to do education with it. Uh, Discovery World came in later. They pretty much acquired the vessel. So what we do, we do public day sales, which is very nice. We take people out, people who normally don't come out on Lake Michigan at all. They've been here all their lives. So it's a neat way to see where they live and how important the water is to the city. But we also do uh, educational trips. We do programs that could be a few hours, a few days. We've done trips that were a couple of weeks. I think the longer the trip, the more they learn how to work together, how to work with their hands. Because you're working not really towards a solid goal, but you notice at the end how now you can work with other people in a better way. You can communicate better. This is kind of the whole world put in a small place. It's a microcosm where you really start to notice things, how people interact, and you get over some fears. I like sailing, but uh, I think my favorite thing is actually the interesting personalities that you meet. And because you hang out with the same 10 people for, you know, a few months, and you're in really close quarters, and you, like, go through trials together, you um, develop, like, these really, really tight bonds. And um, I have, I still uh, have very, very dear friends from before I sailed, but I have a lot of really close friends from, from my sailing years. And, um, yeah, it's, it takes a kind of special personality to do this. So it's, it was fun, like, realizing that I had a, a niche that I fit in socially and I could go anywhere in the country and find a boat and know that I would probably like those people on it. You learn so much. Um, it's not even about sailing or, you know, there's, there's sailing, there's boats, there's weather, um, astronomy comes into it. Um, but you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about working with people. Um, I was pretty introverted when I first started and, uh, and now working with people is 90% of what I do. It's pretty hard to beat. It's just that thing that you can't get on land. I mean, you can get solitude in the woods, you can get quiet on land, but it's not the same as the combination of the movement of the boat, the sound of the water lapping against the hull, the wind and the sails, again, the self-sufficiency of it. Yeah.